Why is gambling so widely accepted in the black and brown community? Whenever you go into a store in the hood, you see people lined up for scratch offs and lottery. We need to talk about it today, man. On this channel, I don't mind talking about the things that might not get the views, might not get the subscribers, might not get the clicks because I decided to make my channel to really help people. So think about subscribing, joining the channel. There was a documentary made like 13 years ago. Jackpot. The social and legal implications of gambling in the black community. This film discusses a subject that is taboo in the black community. Problem gambling. This is an issue that reaches into people's homes, churches, and jobs. But its effects are rarely discussed. Gambling has caused great heartache in families and communities. Some have lost their homes, some have fractured important relationships, and others have even taken their lives, and yet their story is rarely told. This documentary speaks to those who are struggling with this problem, but do not have a voice. The black community has a long history with gambling, from numbers running, spades, bingo in churches, to casinos and the lottery. We know that um, uh, certain cultures, such as African Americans and, and uh, even the Chinese and Asian community, um, tend to have a predilection for uh, participating in gambling. And maybe it is part of our long-term culture, because what we would call small games of, ch of chance in our neighborhoods, you know, we, we, we knew who ran the numbers in the neighborhood, uh, and, and we knew that, um, you know, at the card table, and, and those kinds of places, you know, bets were being placed and going on. But that was small time stuff. And normally you didn't you weren't betting that. This documentary was great. It actually showed what goes on in the black and brown communities. I'm going to put that video in the link in the description. And do you know what happened in 2020? Other black people keyed in on black people who gamble. Recently, I Remember I said I wasn't going to make stock videos or grifter videos, but I wanted to show you how this one grifter was literally chuckling and look at what he said about his subscribers. The game stop. All right. For those of you that are out there on the craps table. <laughs> so let me just tell you guys. He said you guys are at the craps table. And what stock was he talking about? GME. Now, I know a lot of people are passionate about these individual stocks, these meme stocks, but you got to hear me out. What these people did and what the news does and what these grifters who are black and brown, what they did was try to make you think that you've missed out on this wealth revenue stream that, oh my God, you didn't know about the stock market? Millionaires are made in the stock market. All they did was have you add all these other apps, these Robinhood apps, these Mumu apps next to the DraftKings and next to the poker apps. That's all they did. What they did was get up here. And the reason why they were so successful and you look at how many subscribers they have. And I want to talk about something. People go, you only have this many subscribers. When you add up all their subscribers, your Larry Jones, Keenan Grace, Chris Sane, Mommy Trader, Wall Street Trapper, they got millions, right? Millions of subscribers. I don't have millions, but that's how many smart people uh, are out of those millions. You might catch about 1,000 smart people out of every million who actually know what's going on. So I'm proud of my channel and I'm proud of my subscribers and I'm proud of myself because I see the bullshit that went on. What they did was try to convince you Wall Street looks like you. I've said it time and time and time again. Google who the CEOs of these companies that you're gambling in these uh, uh, AMC and GameStop and Apple one day and then it's this company. Google who the CEOs are. Do they look like you? Gamble who the CEOs of Robinhood and Moo Moo and M1 Finance. Do they look like you? So Wall Street don't look like your ass. You know what looks like black and brown folks? The green money that comes out of your pocket and goes back into the white man's money. Uh, uh, the... Uh, the uh, white man's pocket. I'm going to come out and say that because a lot of you don't like hearing that and this triggers you. But what happens is you made the white man richer. You made the Louis Vuitton people, the Mercedes. Uh, it, 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 it's a constant thing. It keeps flowing to the top. This gambling mentality, 
I'm going to come out and say it. The white man used them to come to you like they always do to sell you the dream of now you're going to get rich. Purchase this, purchase that, purchase that. They get their peanuts in the middle. Then they kick up to the top where all the real money goes. All they did was open up in 2020 a new gambling stream to the black and brown communities. People sit and watch their phones all day. Looking at something, hoping, hoping that put that they put, hoping that stop drops. Oh man, I, I did a call. I hope it goes up. Oh yeah, I did a swing trade. I did this. I did that. All it is is gambling. He said it himself. You guys are on the craps table. On the craps table. He he literally came out. He came out of he came out of his face. He had to say it. Who was he talking to? His subscribers. He said, I know. You guys are out there on the craps table, meaning my subscribers. So when you get up here, remember that video will be in the link in the description. Watch that video, whether it's running numbers, whether it's slot machines and lottery. A lot of black and brown folks are willing to go to the casinos to gamble, but you don't own homes. You're willing to go to the casino and gamble, but you don't own a passport. You're willing to gamble all day on your phone, uh, DraftKings, Moo Moo, Robinhood, but your kids don't have a college fund. You don't have a great career. You're still carrying student loans. You can't blame me for that. I didn't tell you to do all that shit. So take a look in the mirror. I don't have it. I don't have gambling shit on my phone. I don't. Because I'm not giving anybody else my money. I'm going to make my money work for me. We've been up here trying to tell you where to put your money. And you've been fighting us and fighting us and telling us um, you want to be poor the rest of your life. Why are you hating? Hating on what? If you get a million dollars and you lose a million dollars, how does that hurt or help my life? I don't give a shit what you do. I make my videos for the few who are misguided, who need to be guided to the right place. I don't give a damn about the ignorant idiots out there who will destroy their accounts, destroy their lives, and then be on wooden rocking chairs on the front porch as kids are driving by doing drive-bys and you sitting out there with no teeth, no medical, no medical insurance, no nothing. Your social security has nothing in it. You have no 401k. You have no pension. And you're rocking back and forth and your kids are trying to figure out how to take care of you. That's how cycles are repeated. No regrets, get it.